the real Hillary Clinton. The former Secretary of State has long touted her history as a champion of women's rights. Over the past 25 years, I have worked persistently on issues relating to women, children, and families. It is a violation of human rights when individual women are raped in their own communities. It is a violation of human rights when a leading cause of death worldwide among women ages 14 to 44 is the violence they are subjected to in their own homes by their own relatives. But newly unearthed audio tapes throw that claim into question. There of Clinton in the 1980s discussing a case she took on as a young lawyer in Arkansas, the one in which she represented a man accused of raping a 12-year-old girl. Here's Hillary in her own words laughing about how she helped get this convicted child rapist a reduced sentence. That case that I that guy, that was, it was, it was fascinating Really, it's really interesting. This guy was raped at 12. Of course, he claimed he was raped all this stuff. He took a lot of tests. I had to call it. And she passed. Whatever he said, I'm not saying. I don't know more. I didn't turn out. Oh, he's pretty darn. He got it off. He was trying to serve him in the county jail. He'd been in the county jail about two months. The 12 year old victim is now 52, and she claims Clinton went to great lengths to discredit her and, quote, took her through hell. Dana is a former prosecutor handling case, rape cases, child abuse, sexual assault cases. These are some of the most egregious and violent crimes that can be committed against women and children. Hillary Clinton made a, made a choice. She was not a public defender. She took this on as private counsel and elected to represent a man and get a reduced sentence for someone who raped a child. How does this sit well with the message she's trying to communicate that she's for women and this is something she's passionate about? Well, I think that most women that support her are, are inclined to um, do so ferociously, and they are very loyal to her, and they will find some sort of way to rationalize this in their minds. They might say, well, she was just being a good lawyer. Um, I, I, don't know, I don't know what they'll be able to say about it. One of the reasons this is happening is that Hillary Clinton is trying to have it both ways for almost too long. This actually was, has, has been known for some time, but it had been repressed by other news organizations. The Washington Free Beacons, Alana Goodwin, finds the tape, she does the reporting, she puts it out there, and then what happens yesterday? The University of Arkansas bans the Washington Free Beacon from coming back because they forgot to fill out a certain form that they needed to fill out. Yeah, so I think I hope that women are going to be sm uh, smarter and intelligent and say, listen, this is inconsistent with what she's been telling us. When should, well, who should I believe? Which is the real Hillary Clinton? The one back then taking cases on, voluntarily choosing to represent a child rapist? That's a big choice. Your pro-choice, Hillary, that was a choice she made. This is my problem with it's it. It's worse. That, it's, it's just such an egregious it's crime. This, this actually gets even worse. If this is true, according to Smokey Gun, according to Daily Beast, Hillary Clinton. For you. Daily Beast, you don't like that one? Don't like the game. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, Hillary Clinton says she knew the guy was guilty, yet she still defended him and got him off. Uh, quote, got him off with time served. Ha ha ha. Now, why does that matter? Because you, you look at Hillary Clinton. If she wants to run in 2016, do you want someone who feasibly could be sitting in the Oval Office making decisions who could laugh about a 12 getting off a, someone she knew was guilty? on some sort of legal technicality, I, I just, that's not the kind of leadership I want. That's not the kind of character I would want my president to have. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a moral choices issue. It's an ethical issue. It's one of integrity. And it really goes to the core of whether or not you are someone that believes passionately in women's rights and, and the right of women to be free from violence and evil like this. Look, I was a prosecutor. We made no money as a prosecutor. I could have gone and been a defense attorney and made a lot of money representing people like that. I made a choice because that wasn't something that sat well with me. I chose to be on the side to represent and protect victims of violent crime, the people that are most vulnerable, Jesse, women and children. That's right. And I don't have too much of a problem with her getting this guy off on a technicality. That's what lawyers are paid to do. What I have a problem with her doing is lying about this victim and then laughing about it. This is a 12-year-old girl who was raped brutally, was put in a coma. She was a virgin, okay? She was told she could never have children again. And what did Hillary Clinton do to this person when she said, this girl seeks out older men? She said, that's just a lie, 
She said this person is mentally unstable, also a lie. She said that this girl had made up rape claims before against people. That was a lie, okay? Hillary has a problem with unethical behavior and lying. We know this about her. Remember, she was terminated from the House Judiciary Committee investigating Watergate for unethical behavior. She lied about coming under fire in Bosnia by the snipers. And then she's spinning this tale about this video in Benghazi. She's got a real problem with telling the truth. I think this is going to be very damaging. This should be a value issue that voters can decide on if this is the type of person uh, with the core values that they share or not when making a decision about who you want to be your representative for the country. As Jesse said, with uh, you know Hillary's values of win at all costs right. and a callousness toward the sanctity yeah, of human life, what, what difference it does it make when people are sick? Americans died in Benghazi because of administration shortcomings and security shortfalls. No, she stood in front of four draped caskets at Andrews Air Force Base and blamed the video, knowing very well that whole oh, Benghazi situation was not a, a protest. This is a little street guys, What did you just say to her? Okay, Bob. <laughs> Bob, let's focus on this uh, the issue at hand here, because the whole platform that has been very strongly put forward by the Democratic Party and the left is, oh, the war on women, that the Republicans are committing war on women. Is she, is she the right choice? Is this a person with the right values? Is this a person that's 26 years of age who was not a child, but she did traumatize a child? To this day, the woman is upset about the way she was treated, victimized by Hillary Clinton. And she might not have been mentally unstable at the time, but you can bet being put on the stand like that and, and, and being forced to read these things about yourself that somehow you are to blame, you are deserving of a rape, you are deserving of crimes of violence committed against you, it's so far afield, so offensive. She has problems. Uh, the interview is from somewhere between 1983 and 1987, so she wasn't 26 when she did the interview. Correct. And I think that uh, her recollection of it is something, I guess, that is worth uh, pointing out as well. I also don't think she has been the most scrutinized. Well, I think it's obvious. Um, this has been out there, but the media protects her. If you read um, the Washington Free Beacon's Matthew Continetti today, with Glenn Thrush, now Politico, when he was at the New York Daily News, was going to put this forward, and the editors, he said, buried it because they didn't want to hurt the cause. And it, it actually ends up hurting the Democrats in the long run when the, when the media continues to try to protect them. The, the difference between this and the Mitt Romney um, uh, story that I mentioned about in the, on the front page of the Washington Post about him bullying, being a bully in high school, right. is very different from trying a case when you're 26 and then talking about it 10 years later. But, Absolutely right. The time reference that you made in is significant. And, and let's look at Hillary's history with women. I mean, I know she's done a lot, Bob, but I mean, think about what she's done as well. I mean, we've had her leading the charge to smear Monica Lewinsky as this desperate, reckless slut. Do you remember that? Or how about when Juanita Broderick accused her husband of rape? Juanita allegedly came up and said, well, Hillary came up to me, confronted me, and tried to threaten me to keep quiet. And also, remember in 93, when she was, you know, the first lady running for president, she said, oh, you know, I could have, you know, stayed home and cooked cookies and, and drank tea in the kitchen, but I decided to pursue a profession. Is that Smearing. your best case right there? Is that my best case? Is that just what you You know, this, these are Pardon. examples of her declaring war on women when it's politically A war on convenient. somebody who was having an affair with her husband, which I grant you she was ambitious and it hurt. It was going to hurt her, and she didn't want to see him get hurt. She you stood know. by her husband while she he was did. sexually and harassing she did. people uh, all over the country. I don't, I don't know if that's the paradigm no, well, of I, I, being listen, a feminist I, I icon. I still find it amazing she was willing to do that, but that's not for me to judge. The question of whether you're balancing her work with women against three or four instances that you're talking about and coming down to the side that she's not a good representative mm -hmm. of women is crazy. I don't think that these are three or four instances. This is a, like we said, a summation well, of her well, body of work, a where she's of her body sided work. with people that have victimized women instead four of things, siding with Bob, 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 if you're going to run on the campaign platform saying the other side's got a war against women, I'm the, I'm the one. I'm your wartime conciliary on behalf of women to do what's best and fight for them, fight for women and children, then you bet you're going to get this kind of scrutiny, and it is relevant, and it's especially relevant that she brings it up 10 years later and her attitude about it. grow up with a Samsung fridge that helps you shop and has a 21-inch touchscreen with Wi-Fi. Nice to be grown up, isn't it? 
get great savings on the latest appliances like this GE or Samsung fridge. The Home Depot. More saving. More doing. It happened on this stretch of highway in Fayetteville, Arkansas, back in 1975. A 12-year-old girl brutally attacked by a 41-year-old man. They were reportedly in his... She's driven by the power. She's driven to get the power. That is the driving force in her life. She does not answer questions uh, straight out. She is the expert of not saying what she believes. She will run on attacking Republicans and and being the first woman president. And, oh, isn't that amazing? Oh, it's a woman. She can walk and talk. The thought here is it's all politics. Parcel out favors to individual groups, whether it's unions here or the farm block there. She is steeped in controversy, steeped in sleaze. That's why they don't want us to look at her record. I would recommend that Hillary Clinton appreciate that she's not going to be, by any means, the candidate of American women. American women have diverse views on politics, just like men. At the core of almost every one of the investigations we did for eight years, uh, where there were problems, and I mean major problems, with the Clinton administration, she was at the core of them. It's part of the Clinton method, which is say what you need to say at, at any given moment and rely on the lack of memory of the American public and the support of the mainstream media to support that lack of memory. Well, the 20-year plan really is that the Clintons share power. Uh, one would be president eight years, one would be president another eight years, over a span of 20 years, with a little uh, Republican in between, perhaps. So, in essence, what happened is that Bill and Hillary, in their mid-twenties, before they ever took their marital vows, they took their political vows. You know, a lot of people ask me, do we have to go through all these old Clinton scandals again? Well, I have good news for you. You don't, because you can look at the new ones, because Hillary Clinton scandals are a gift that keeps on giving. Ruthless. Vindictive. Mendacious. Venal. Sneaky. Ideological. Intolerant. Liar is a good one. Scares the hell out of me. Looks good in a pantsuit. presidential exploratory committee. I'm not just starting a campaign though, I'm beginning a conversation with you, with America. So let's talk. <laughs>